Right, hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Great to have you back with me. If you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe. Give us a like. It's all great, helps towards the channel. Drop a comment on your thoughts and feelings on what I do. If there's any suggestions and that sort of thing. That's all much appreciated and it, it uh, all helps. So yes, what we have done this weekend, as you know, the previous weekend, we didn't do any recordings because of one thing and another, you know, personal reasons. We had the a uh, bit of adverse weather as well so we, we kind of left it however this weekend what we did do was go back to st michael's church this is on tina's request um basically because it was her birthday and it actually turned out that she shared her birthday with the passing of the witch that's buried there or the alleged witch okay so we did go back that episode will be up in june as you know i record ahead of myself uh, to cover any problems so yes that actual episode will be up in june but rest assured we we got some great content and i'm not going to tell you who we did get in contact with i'm going to leave that for nearer the time so yes that is what we did this weekend now moving on as i've mentioned we've got some live episodes coming up now as i've already mentioned before i'm doing another unsolved murder that will be this saturday and we are heading to epping forest down a, uh, a place called lover's lane to check out the unsolved murders of terry and maxine who was shot on the 22nd of december 1989 which was actually six years before the retton shootings but the similarities are there you know is in a vehicle shotgun blown away in a you know deserted place so that is what we're going to check out next week now this one's going to be i know i've, I've been out on a bit of a punt for the last you know for the first round and and you know thought by one or two others and the difference being with this one it's going to be more of a punt because although i know where it is i don't know the exact spot so you're going to have to work with me a little here okay so as i say i might not get anything I've got a feeling I will. It's just a matter of getting near to where the spot in which things happened. So that is what's coming up this Saturday. We are doing a live episode on my Facebook page. And that will be from Epping Forest, looking into the unsolved murders of Maxine and Terry. Okay, so we've got that one to look forward to. That will, as I've said before, kick off a couple of things. It will kick off a bunch of episodes a bunch of episodes recorded in Epping Forest, chasing up all different things from other disappearances to Dick Turpin to Queen Boudicca. There's loads of stuff that went on there. So I think we're going to get a lot of material out of that place. Also, it's going to kick off some unsolved murders. We're going to look into some unsolved murders. Um, those will all be revealed in due course. So we've got that to look forward to as well. So under normal circumstances where we've got a normal live episode, it will be the last Saturday of the month and it will be an unsolved murder. So that is the plan. Moving on. Yes, I'm going to do several live episodes actually. Just for Easter, we're doing an Easter special. So we're going to do a couple of live episodes. And the first one will be at St Peter's Church in Aylesford. And you remember we've been there a couple of times now. The first one was with uh, Laura and her producer. And Kira was with us that time. And then on the second occasion, we had James Riches from South and Ghostbusters. He was with us on the second one. Now I'm hoping that on the return for part three, we're going to have quite a team there. And I hope Laura will be joining us for this one because I think she's calmed down now. Uh, it, it did spook her a little bit when we first went, but I think she's prepared this time. So, fingers crossed, we will have some special guests. That will be the live episode. That will be going out either Friday the 2nd of April or Saturday the 3rd. I will confirm slightly nearer the time when I've got confirmation from a couple of other people. So that will be the first one, all right? So this is the Easter, Easter weekend special. A live episode for St. Peter's Church in Aylesford. And the second live episode 
for the Easter weekend will be on the Easter Sunday, so that's Sunday the 4th of April. That will be at St Peter's on the Wall in Bradwell. Now, I've, I believe I've discussed Bradwell at length in a couple of vlogs previous to this. And uh, we picked up some all manner of things there. So we are going back. So the, the episode itself might be skewed with because we've already been twice. We've helped some spirits to pass over. Um, I've had a couple of moments <laughs> uh, where things were moved of their own accord, I should say. But you'll have to watch the episodes when they come out. So what we've planned to do, because we've actually done it three times now, I, I didn't plan on going back a third time first of all and then it got to the point that I was going back a third time but I wasn't planning on staying there for that long best lay pants of my cement needs to say that is why we're going back for for me is what a fourth time for you to be your first opportunity to see the place and yes we're going to go live because as I say I think there's unfinished business there and what we are going to do is I'm going to do some collaboration again with uh, the boys from Paranormal Essex. I don't know whether it's going to be just Adam and Rob or whether it's going to be the full team. That I don't know yet. But they haven't been able to do anything recently. So it's going to be nice to kick off their channel again. And again, I will drop a link in the description below to their Facebook page because they are pretty much live only whereas obviously most of my content is done for YouTube so that that that's how we differ but so I've worked with the guys a few times now and uh, yeah we, we had some really good stuff come out so yes that's what's going to happen for Easter weekend so we are going live on either the second or third from St Peter's Church in Ellsford near Colchester and then Easter Sunday, we're doing St Peter's on the Wall Chapel in Bradwell on Sea. Those will be the Easter special live episodes, both on Facebook. And obviously, I will keep you informed uh, about the times and everything on the week on the week up to that. So that's them two. And then there will be another live episode with Paranormal Essex, or rather, they will be doing a live episode. And we're going to Pluckley Woods in Kent. Now, for me, this is going to be a little bit of payback because I actually lived and worked in Kent for a good few years. Uh, Canterbury, Dover, and I lived, the last place I lived was sort of between Sittingbourne and Maidstone. But I did security for a, a firm down there, or I won't really talk about, but we did dog handling. That was one of the things we did. And at the time that I worked for them, we were doing security on various ringways projects. I was doing like a lot of uh, bridge replacements, for example. You know, the little bridges you come across in the around villages and all that. The little tiny things, you know what I'm on about. So we was doing security on them. Now, at that time, I did a little bit of security on a village which sat next to Pluckley. And... All I can say is, that when that place is dark, it is dark. I mean, if I, it's like where I am now. Okay, the only light you've got is what's pretty much what's coming off of my little uh, studio light thing and, and the ambient light. But if I was to turn this off, which I think I might do now. Okay, uh, you're getting a throwing light from this, so I'm going to switch this off. Okay. That is about as much light as I got there. <laughs> so it gives you an idea on how dark it is at this place. Uh, well, anyway, I was doing security there. There was a cabin. We had a dog. And I was sitting in the cabin. The dog barked. So I'll come out with a torch. Couldn't see a thing. Uh, went back in the cabin, the dog barked again, so again I've gone outside, now I'm expecting maybe it's wildlife he's barking at, maybe a rabbit or a fox, something like that, so I'm expecting to see glowing eyes, you know, I know it's, it might spook a little bit of people, when, when you've been out in the sticks for a while, you, that's the sort of thing you can get used to, 
So, yeah, I've gone out, game, nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, you could say I got a little bit spooked there at, at the time. But that was nearly 10, that was around 10 years ago. So, it's nice to go back and actually do a, a proper investigation into the area. And, uh, as I say, if you look up Pluckley Woods, it's one of the most haunted villages in the country. I think Borley is probably the only one that uh, is, is sort of close to it. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. It's going to go live from Paranormal Essex. So as I said, I'll drop the link in the description for their Facebook page. I'm going to record it for my channel as, I, as I've done when I've, I've gone out with the guys past. But it, it, this weekend, that will kick off their stuff again. And as I say, it'd be good to work with them and uh, see what we can find. So yeah, there in a nutshell, three live episodes coming up. We've got Epping Forest. We have St. Peter's Church in Alsford. We have St. Peter's on the Wall Chapel in Bradwell. Those will be my three live episodes. And I'll be collabing with Paranormal Essex for the one in Bradwell. And then I'm going to jump on their channel I would be called in for my for YouTube. <laughs> it does sound a little bit confusing, I know. But I'll be joining them for when they kick off their their season. So that's how it's all going to go ahead. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's uh, it's probably quite a lot to take in, but like I said, lots of announcement. Very busy time coming up. Working with some different people. It's it's going to be quite quite an exciting time. Not only that. Um, moving on slightly, my bike should be coming back on the road next week. I've just got them insured, so I'm really happy. My, I got a really good quote for each bike, uh, so I was able to get that done. So I've just got to get my MOT and tax next week, and I'm off on my two wheels again. So I pulled a tonic. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And again, anything else on the shakedown... As I've said before, that's not happening this year because we've got still got too much restrictions. But I'm looking to do regular video updates as and when we get to do our stuff. So you will know more or less as much as us. That's the plan. I'm also looking forward to getting some road tests done. Probably starting with my own bikes. I'm working on that, so we'll see what happens there. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you so much for bearing with. This weekend, or rather this Thursday, I've gone back to Shuba Garrison. And obviously, Tracy Cam will be up as well on the Sunday. So you've got them to look forward to. And uh, yeah, that was... This will be a bit of a short one episode because the weather was a bit against us. <laughs> but I got a great response from something I didn't expect. Although I know what i got is there it wasn't what i expected to come through i expected more stuff in line with the previous couple of visits so that's what we've got coming up this thursday shuba garrison and then thursday we've got tracy and then saturday oh my days sunday is tracy cam so there we go thank you so much for just staying with us today well, I really appreciate you watching what I do and all the adventures I get up to. So, yes, Thursday, Garrison, Sunday, Tracy Cam Garrison. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.